What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today I'm with my brother and we are going for some fluke out in a local inlet and uh, hopefully we get it good. We're going on some light tackle action with some jig heads and some gulp and we're going to be casting as much as possible for the next five hours in this video and hopefully get on some fluke. What do you think? I think we did. I think we did. So clearly, check it out, he's baking hot. I am baking hot. Let's see what the temp is. It is currently 92 degrees. Ooh. Insanity and no AC on in the truck. Well, we should fix that. We should fix that by going yeah. fishing. All right, let's go fishing. Let's go. What? No, come back. Get him again. <laughs> if they're here, then they're on the south shore. There we go. Hit right there. Before I end up losing him again. We're catching fluke. On little gulps and a jig head. This is a... 3 8 ounce jig head. Caught two fluke right in this one spot in the inlet here. Come on. Little microbe. Cool little guy, beautiful colors. Right, Chuck? Touch him for good luck. Thank you. All right. Mwah. Let's watch him swim away. They're always cool to watch. Oh, that's my foot. Right there, look how, look how they camouflage in there. So we are out here catching fluke on a 3 8 ounce jig head and a four inch piece of gulp with the curly tail. I like this one as opposed to the fishing. I don't know why, why I, just, I just like it better than the fish. But we're just casting it out into the inlet as far as we can and just letting it drop. We're about four and a half hours, about five hours into the outgoing. So we're just having the, the tide take our bait down and drift it a little bit. Once it hits bottom, we're just giving it a couple little twitches, keeping it close to the bottom for the fluke to see. And we are catching a couple fluke. We've had uh, some stripers come up right in front of us down here. There's bait everywhere. There's spearing, there's um, sand, uh, sand eels, and we're just trying to catch some fish. It's working. So we are using a Airwave Coastal Series seven foot. This can go up to three, from three eighths to one ounce. It's a fantastic rod. I use this for, uh, for all my light tackle stuff and I'll use lighter than this too, but we're just fishing this inlet and I have it matched with a Stratic 3000 and I believe this is my 20 pound braid. So this is my bigger one of my light tackle rod and reel setups. And I have a 15, I believe, pound mono leader attached to a TA clip and my little jig head. We're just fishing the inlet and there's fish coming up right on the drop-offs. You guys will see that in the drone footage, but there's drop-offs everywhere and that's what we're trying to target here as far as catching fish because fish like drop-offs, bait are cruising the drop-offs and that's where predatory fish are gonna go to catch some more food. And it seems to be working and hopefully once the tide switches, we'll be catching some more. Let's go.
nice cloak. Little guy. Nice little guy on the uh, little gulp on the jig head. Beautiful little fluke. They have such nice colors, don't they? Yeah, it feels cool too. It feels cool. All right, here, hold that. Let's do uh, one of those cool little releases. Again, they hug my leg. There he is in my shadow. Such neat little fish. Bye. Biggest one of the day. <laughs> Get the camera. Now that's a keeper right there, bro. That's one way to end the day. I just threw on a new grub tail. Come on. Just threw on a new grub right here and uh, took a cast. We were about to pack it up. We caught a beautiful slab of a fluke. Ain't that a beautiful fish? Coming mm -hmm. in clear? Nice. Let's release him. Mwah! Air kiss. Cool? Yeah, I think so. Alright. Well, that was pretty neat. I didn't expect that. Charlie's like, yeah, I'm good to go whenever you are. I'm like, I'm gonna take another cast. First cast, boom. Nice fluke. I guess I gotta take some more casts. Let's go. All right, so we are calling it a day. Right, Chuck? Indeed. You caught a lot of fish, right? I actually, I caught, I think, three different species. You did catch three different species of fish. That is true. But you didn't catch them. You caught them with your bare hands, so you noodled them. I noodled three different species. Yeah, so I managed to catch all the fluke today on the gulp, a little four-inch grub in white, on a 3 8 ounce jig head. So it was a fun day. Light tackle day. It's cool to have something different on the channel and to catch some new species as opposed to just targeting bluefish or stripers or stuff like that. I could definitely continue to do this and maybe from the kayak, that'd be really fun. Get into some more spots. But as you guys saw, we fished the inlet, we fished the drop-offs. And those are, like I say in all my videos, those are hot spots, those are key areas that you wanna target to try to catch some fish. So I hope you guys learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. If you have more questions, comment below. And we're gonna Hopefully make it back to the truck is hot and we're walking. If you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button. You don't want to miss anything. We're going to be posting a lot of really cool content. And like I said, you don't want to miss it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Stay real, smooch and release and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time. Oh, am I doing our intro? You're recording, aren't you? I didn't even hear the button go. Okay.